imagine that you just buried your daughter because she took her own life due to being viciously bullied, only to find out that the school superintendent is blaming you for her death. Well, that's what happened here in Adriana's case. They buried Adriana on Friday, and on Friday, the school superintendent um, wrote a letter to start with, and then it just really escalated downhill from there. In the initial letter, he wrote that they had a student that passed and they held a moment of silence. He only referred to Adriana as the student. Then later on, he says in the letter that students had decided to hold a rally, basically because the school does nothing about bullying, and this was in protest to that. He then said that that rally was interrupting the school's learning process. He then started getting into the family's personal business, stating how Adriana's father was having an affair when Adriana was in sixth grade, which led to basically their parents separating and Adriana's mother taking her own life. Now, while I don't condone extramarital affairs at all, he, the superintendent is now blaming the dad for both his um, former wife's death and his daughter's death. Anyways, the superintendent then turned in his letter of resignation at an emergency school board meeting tonight. Um, and he is effective immediately, no longer superintendent. If you'd like to see that statement, it is on my Instagram already posted. But this, in my opinion, is fantastic news. This is not how a school system should handle bullying or a child's death. It's just wrong.